everybody, welcome back. This is my play along series. We're doing a super fun song um, that I have requests for, which is Have You Ever Seen the Rain by CCR. Fantastic song. A little bit more in the intermediate realm. Um, this is not a lesson video. If you, I, if, if you haven't learned this song, I would recommend going to the link below this video. Go and watch the lesson video where I show you all the different strumming patterns and all the different connections for this song because it is a little bit more on an intermediate level. Now, in these play along series, what I do is I usually play it through the first time a little bit more simplified, maybe even a little bit slower, and then I'll play it through a second time a little bit faster and a little bit more complicated, probably how I would play the song live if I was going to perform it. So um, overall, this song isn't too, too crazy, but it, it, it has a lot of intricacies, which push it up kind of a little bit out of the beginner realm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the intro and we're not going to switch between a bunch of crazy different strumming patterns. We're going to try and keep it non-syncopated. So we're going to keep to the one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one. I'm going to do that for pretty much the entire song. I don't know. I might change it on the chorus. Let me see. I'm going to keep it the same on the chorus, too. The only part I'll change is when we do the walk down. Um, in the chorus. I will do the down down ups for that. All right, so let's start with our intro. Um, I'll play through a little bit slower and then I'll play it up to speed the second time through. All right, so if you haven't gone to alarmbateman.com, go download the chord chart and here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, some syncopated strumming. I'm going to use some strumming on the downbeats. Um, it'll get a little bit more funky. So if you want to try bumping it up to that next level, you can try playing along with me. If not, just keep the same strumming pattern. I'm just going to play a little bit faster, not much faster, and maybe a little bit faster. Okay, a little bit faster. Um, so here we go. One,
That's how you like do a big ending. You just strum really fast. Awesome. <coughs> well, there you go. That is Have You Ever Seen the Rain? I love this song. One of my favorite songs to play and play live. It's just a really super, super fun song. So there you go. That was a little bit more. You can see the intricacies of switching between strumming patterns. Um, this is a very, very hard song to sing and play at the same time. Um, so people ask me a lot, Lauren, how do I go about singing and playing this song at the same time? Uh, I would recommend say, starting with a, a non-syncopated strumming pattern, so not so much ups, um, but you really, really, really have to slow it down. Um, this hand has got to be on autopilot. The, you can't even be thinking about the strumming in this song. It just has to happen. Um, so if we go back to just a short lesson on singing and playing, um, someone told me long ago. Someone told me long ago. And you might even have to go slower than that. Someone told me long ago. There's a calm before the storm. Um, this is a very, very difficult song to sing and play. At, at the same time, I would say this is very, very hard. Just because of the, the syncopations, um, the entire verse is on upstrums, which um, can, is a real disconnect between your brain and, and your hand, which is why I say the mechanics of your strumming for this song definitely have to be on autopilot. I mean, whenever you try and sing and play a song, the mechanics of your strumming should be on autopilot, but for this song, as soon as you as soon as you start thinking about the strumming, something's gonna something's gonna mess up and, and trip up. Um, so this is a song where you definitely this thing's this hand is just gonna be doing its own. Yes, you need to think about what strumming pattern's coming next, but your hand just has to play it. Um, and it can take a lot of practice to get there. So you just gotta it's it's really just a practice thing. You gotta keep doing it over and over again, and eventually you'll be able to play and sing just like me. So there you go, quick uh, quick little side lesson on singing and playing at the same time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. I'll see you in the next video.